When I think of wilderness, I imagine places undisturbed where you can just enjoy the silence and really see the plants and animals at their best. The wilderness for me is that place to escape to. Uh, I think it's so necessary for us as people to go, kind of go back to our roots of what we were and it was just out being in the wild. Wilderness is being in a place where you're there on its own terms, you know. It's not expecting anything, it's not expecting the environment to, you know, look after you, to take care of my needs. Um, wilderness is there really for me to take care of its needs. I grew up here in Marin and, uh, you know, this is kind of my backyard essentially. Uh, so I've, you know, definitely spent a lot of time recreating uh, out here in the wilderness, um, you know, hiking and uh, you know, going to the beach was, you know, definitely uh, a large part of my childhood is, you know, visiting our, our seashore here. As an interpretive ranger, I am here to educate visitors about wilderness. We tell visitors uh, that they're entering wilderness for one. We enforce the laws, right, that are designed to protect the wilderness. Um, so you got the simple things from, you know, pets in closed area, not being able to bring your uh, dog into the wilderness area, all the way up to uh, damage to natural resources, uh, unattended fires and things like that. It becomes a more imperative that we take steps to protect it, which means that we'll have to educate folks about how to do that themselves. It's a collaborative effort, it's a collective effort that we need to make in order to ensure that wilderness is protected into the future. What's really important as the visitation for Point Reyes National Seashore keeps rising, uh, that visitors familiarize themselves with the rules and regs of the park and specifically those that pertain to wilderness. Um, so, you know, familiarizing yourself with the pack in, pack out policy as well as how to treat fires and there's you know a really good reason that we have our fire rules here. You know, protecting the wilderness is really easy to do and you know part of what many of us already do already you know it's following leave no trace principles when you're in the back country and even if you're in the front country you can do that you know as we put less pressure on the areas that we can use, you know, that puts less pressure on the areas that we want to protect. So for each warning that we give, each citation that we write, or each contact that we make, we're just trying to educate the public towards that goal. It's not always something that gets across, so <laughs> they're just like, oh, I'm just going for a hike. Uh, but, but hopefully while they're out there exploring Point Reyes and being on the trails and and really enjoying themselves out there. We hope that it instills a connection to them, uh, that they'll want to preserve this place. That's kind of a tough one to answer because there are so many good ones, but I guess if I had to pick, uh, I guess the top favorite, the Coast Trail, would have to be my answer. It's hard to choose. You know, I, I'd have to say, I think Tamal's Point is great. It's wonderful. It's, uh, you really do get a sense of that you're out in the middle of nowhere, the Laguna Trail would probably be my favorite part uh, of the wilderness. Every part of wilderness is special and unique in its own way, and you want to experience all of it. I mean, you can't just choose one, and it'd be difficult to say, this wilderness is better than the other. Uh, they're all equally worth visiting. Well, here at Point Reyes, the wilderness is really di diverse. You know, we have our Bishop Pine Forest, we have our rugged coastlines, our coastal dunes. There's just, you know, so much here that it's, it's hard to pick one, really. Um, we've got the land mass of wilderness, but you also have the marine area uh, that makes it uh, incredibly um, wild feeling. That's the beauty of it, is that things that are wild can be far away, you might have to drive eight hours to go and see the Sierra, but uh, there are places that are wild that are just in your backyard, and hopefully wilderness is going to be an idea that everyone has access to, uh, that wild areas will be in urban places, uh, and, and you don't have to get <laughs> very far, or you don't have to go very far um, to just be one with nature. So. 
Wilderness is important because it reminds us of, uh, you know, where we came from. Uh, I forget who said it, but wilderness just you don't have to even go to it, but knowing that it's there, knowing that it's out there, is of intrinsic value to the human soul. So just for me, being able to go to it, going, being able to go to a place, walk a trail, or even walk off trail, that you know, you see no sign of human habitation. It's a place where it feels wild. You know, It feels like I might get eaten out here. And I don't know how that works out in the human psyche, but uh, that's kind of a good feeling to know that those places still exist. At the end of my programs, you know, I ask people what they, what they think they can do to become wilderness defenders. Um, you know, Edward Abbey said that, you know, wilderness, the idea of wilderness doesn't need any defense, it just needs more defenders. Uh, so that's kind of my call to action at, my, at the end of the program. There are places that have been set aside uh, in this country where we can be assured that things are left as they would be without us. And know, just even knowing that um, is valuable 